All right, everybody. Oops, I forgot to move my microphone. Let me just adjust this a little bit. All right, so we are live and thank you so much for joining us. It has been a while. I am uh, so grateful for um, all of your guys' patience. And I see that we have some people hopping on. Excellent. So um, I am just so, so grateful for you guys. And this community is amazing. Um, as you know, I uh, lost my mom on May 22nd. Um, I have now officially been in Oregon for a month. I think it was either the May 9th or May 10th. I can't remember exactly that uh, I flew out here because she was having a health crisis, uh, which she ended up succumbing to on May 22nd. So I have been out here for a month first to assist with her and now to get the estate all um, squared away. And there is just so much to do. There's so much to do. If you guys have been through this uh, before, then, then you know. So, and um, I am in my mom's home and we've got the equipment all set up. I have a naked face today. If you ever wondered what I look like without makeup, this is it <laughs> because um, I just have so much going on, but I did not want to uh, forget about you. And so I'm so grateful that you guys are here with me. We are using StreamYard this time. Um, if you've been with me for a long time, then you know that um, we have gone back and forth with different platforms for hosting our live streams. And back uh, at home in Virginia, I was using Ecamm. Uh, we switched to Ecamm. We thought that was better, but the equipment that I have here with me doesn't have Ecamm. So I'm switching back to StreamYard, which means you do need to give permission to StreamYard, StreamYard in order to um, access that. And hopefully um, Joel is going to... Good morning, Kurt. Um, Joel will put that link in the chat so that we can, uh, so that I can see who you are. That is all I have as a number to know how many people are on the live stream, but I don't have, um, I can't see your names unless you give StreamYard permission. Like whoever said, good morning, Margie, hasn't seen, uh, hasn't added StreamYard. Good morning, uh, Karen. So uh, anyway, so today uh, with my no makeup face and in this uh, environment, <laughs> we are just going to kind of kind of out equipment. Hopefully you guys can see me and hear me okay. I'm getting a message from, um, from StreamYard that the connection is unstable. And um, I, if I plug into the router, then I can get a better connection, but I can't reach the router with the cables that I have here. So for next week, I'm going to get a, a long cable and then I can reach it and then hopefully it'll uh, work out for next week. And um, I am going to be here still for a few more weeks as we get this uh, estate settled. Um, so anyway, but I wanted to make sure and test all of this out and, oh, my video looks blurry. Eh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the video is a bit fuzzy for me, but I can hear you. Oh, fine. Okay. All right. So unfortunately the, yeah, I think there's nothing I can do with the current cables that I have. Hopefully when I switch to um, the, the, when I switch to the screen share, then you will, uh, it won't be so fuzzy that you can't see it. So anyway, so we're just going to walk through one exercise today just so that we can get back into our groove of doing these weekly live streams. And, um, and we're just, so we're just going to do this one exercise and we're doing it from the recertification. So if you got your uh, pro advisor certification uh, prior to November 1st of 2022, then you have to recertify um, by June 30th. So today is June 9th. You've got uh, a couple weeks left to be able to recertify. 
And um, the recertification is a much smaller test than what you had to do to research or to get your initial certification, because all they're testing you on is what has changed since you got your certification. So uh, it's a much smaller test. It's uh, a $50 annual fee, which for, for us, it's free. If you do it via Intuit and you want their training, that's fine. Uh, but if you're doing it the, are the fast and easy way, then it's a $50 annual fee, which you had the opportunity to purchase when you initially purchased your course. Uh, but you can also... Um, uh, you can also add it anytime. Joel, if you could put that in also, uh, www.fastandeasyqbo.com forward slash recertify. If you're watching this recording, then of course the link will be uh, in uh, below the video. Okay. So, uh, so that's the recertification and, um, and that's all we're going to go through today. Again, just to be acclimated. Thank you, Brock. Um, I'm glad to be back. It's still kind of crazy, but Anyway, so we are, I'm going to hop over to uh, sharing my screen, just talk a little bit about the locker room. Um, if you are watching this live, then you are inside the locker room. We do this every Friday. We have a live stream to walk through together some of our hands-on exercises. The locker room is our free Facebook group. You have access to nearly 100 free exercises to get hands-on practice using QuickBooks Online. We have the these weekly live streams, which we haven't had in a few weeks because I had a family emergency. And oh, thanks, Kurt. I'm going to put that up because that is awesome. Um, Kurt says, I just took my recertification using Margie's notes and it was just awesome. All right. So um, now how do I get that off? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So um, Anyway, back to the locker room, uh, and then we also host. Um, uh, we also host. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, votes. So we also uh, will vote on uh, what exercises you would like to work on, so that I can create more, cover them in the live streams. So that is in the locker room, and of course, if you are watching this live, you're already in the locker room. But if you are watching the recording then the link will be down below. Inside the locker room, uh, posts are uh, pinned in the featured section. You have access to this spreadsheet. This is where you, um, uh, did I forget to? No, okay, good. <laughs> um, this is uh, where you have access to all of our exercises. They are organized. Um, I'm kind of covering this up, but um, they're organized. Oh, I forgot to turn on my cursor. Let me do that. You know, Joel always reminds me to turn on my cursor before this. And, and I'm always like, I know, I know. And then this time he didn't. And so I didn't. And then here we are. So, all right. <laughs> so you, now you can see a little bit bigger. All right, so the um, this is where you access the exercises. We have them grouped together in different tabs down at the bottom. Getting started is just basic terminology, basic things if you are brand new to QuickBooks Online. The ones that are in uh, the basic tab are uh, the ones that come from our basic level certification course. Same with advanced. Those come from our advanced level certification test. I think this is too big. Usually I put it on 150, but I think that that is too big. Let me do that. Okay. If you, if you want me to make it bigger, just let me know. Okay. So, um, oh, we have another person saying they took their recertification and it was awesome. Oh, awesome. Thank you, whoever you are. All right, so um, so here we are. Basic. These all come from our basic or advanced level um, certification test. Um, the QBO Gym is our uh, pr our our product that's not related to certification. It gives you practice exercises for. Um, 
it's actual simulated experience of being a bookkeeper. So many people tell me, oh, I got my certification, but I don't have the confidence to actually go out and do the job because, you know, I just was book learning. I don't actually know anything. And so that's why we created the QBO gym, which um, you gives you scenarios. You actually sit down as if you were a bookkeeper and work through a month's worth of transactions and you get a new issue every month. So, and access to all our past issues. Oh, shoot. Oh, somebody says, okay, because my image, okay, somebody says my image quality is really poor, so I should go with the bigger text size. Okay, let me do that. All right, next week, guys, I'm going to get an Ethernet cord and hook it up, and hopefully I'll have a better connection. Okay. Okay. And how do I keep forgetting how to take that off? Okay. All right. So, uh, so anyway, so that's the gym. And I think Joel already put, yeah, um, Joel put it in the chat. Uh, so if you're watching live, you can uh, get that. And then, of course, if you're watching the, the recording, you can get it down below. Okay. That's the gym. And then also we have our pro advisor challenges. The, oh, I forgot to take that off. Um, pro advisor challenges are um, the ones that are inside your uh, inside your uh, free QBOA account in the training section. Intuit has these little challenges, and so we have turned them into our signature style of doing exercises. And so that's um, that's available for you. And then finally, uh, last but not least, is this little retired miscellaneous special request section. You can see all these ones that people have asked me to create. So I'm going to get on that as I get back into my regular routine. And, um, and ooh, this is another comment. I don't know who you are, but this is awesome. She said, he or she says, the gym is amazing. Even though I have a bookkeeping job, I love the new things I learned there. Okay, good. Thank you. So again, the gym is a uh, hands-on practical experience as if you have, as if you are a bookkeeper and you're uh, working through all of these exercises. Um, and it's just I, so many great things planned for you guys. I can't wait, wait until you see what we have coming anyway, but that's neither here nor there. All right. So in the retired special uh, miscellaneous special request, um, people ask me to do things. We have exercises that are from previous um, uh, previous courses that they're no longer being tested on. But hey, if you want practice, then you know go ahead and do these. And then I also put in uh, this exercise that we're working on today is also in here. Uh, I think I actually only have one new exercise. Um, but those of you who've been through the recertification course there, I have some exercises that are like reinforcement things or that are from the current version of the course. Remember, the everyone that's taking the recertification right now are people that haven't taken the current version of the course. They took last year's version of the course. So the, anyway, so there's a bunch of exercises, but this is the only one that I created brand new for um, for this year's recertification. Okay, let's get into it. This is the only exercise we're going to walk through today. And um, I forgot, I'm going to close this window because I forgot that it requires the advanced level certification, uh, advanced level subscription. So um, this year, for not recertification, but regular, the regular certification at the advanced level. This is really confusing. I'm going to put my big face on here because this is confusing. I need to, I need to talk to you. Okay. Wait, there we go. Okay. All right. Listen, <laughs> it's, it's hard sometimes to get, wrap your head around the two different ways that Intuit is using the word advanced. Okay. So there is an advanced subscription level, okay? QBO advanced. So when you learn about QBO, that when your client purchases QBO, they get a subscription and they get a subscription, either simple start or essentials or plus or advanced, okay? So for, there's also self-employed, but don't worry about that, okay? So there's basically the four 
um, subscription levels, okay? QBO Advanced, that subscription level, has, uh, that's really where their Intuit is putting the, the most of their development. Like they are really, that's re what they're really focused on enhancing. So all of the like new stuff, all of the like super cool features and all that, it's all happening in the advanced subscription level, okay? Now, there is also the advanced certification, okay? So the advanced certification is uh, just for accountant users, and it's not just the advanced subscription level, okay? Don't get, don't get confused. Don't get confused. It does include, I think all of Section 5 is entirely focused on the QBO advanced subscription level, but that's not the same as the advanced certification. Advanced certification includes a whole bunch of other things that are in all of the other subscription levels too, okay? So hopefully that's clear. <laughs> hopefully that's a little bit clear. <clears throat> okay, so um, the exercise that we are doing today is in the advanced subscription level only, which means that you cannot use the sample company that's inside your QBO account, okay? The one that's inside your QBOA account is QBO Plus. That's the sample company, okay? So we want the advanced level sample company, and the only way to get there is through a link, okay? And I have provided it. I'm going to go back to my screen share. I have provided it um, here in the exercise. You have to log into this client-side sample company, this little link right here, okay? And hopefully... I can access it because I just closed that under, see it says QBO online plus redirect. I forgot that we were doing this. So I prepped by logging into the regular sample company. And since I closed it instead of logged out, sometimes it gets confused. So let's just see if this gets me into the right place. Okay, here's how you know if you're in advanced. Sometimes there's a little pop-up. It's not finished right here. Um, it hasn't quite finished loading. Sometimes the um, there's a little pop-up that says like, welcome to advanced. Um, but if there isn't, let me just go. I'm going to go to the gear icon. Oh. Okay, here's another tip. <laughs> Sometimes we get this in our support box. People say, oh my gosh, it's just grayed out. What, you know, the sample company is just grayed out. And um, that will happen. And if right now I just waited for it and it popped up. But if it's, if you are waiting and waiting and it's just still gray, just refresh the screen and you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go to account and settings. All right, next week I'm going to get that Ethernet cable, guys. I just found, um, I just found the uh, Wi-Fi box. So, <laughs> so if I had known that, anyway, Candy says I like Streamyard. You know what? I do too. I was really sad to leave Stream Streamyard and go to. Um, I switched to Ecamm because we were having so many problems with image quality. Um, and uh, I'm just laughing at your comment here, Kurt. Um, <laughs> I was having so many problems with image quality. I paid a lot of money for a consultant to come and help me figure it out. And, um, and so we eventually switched to Ecamm, which is great, but it's just not as user-friendly as StreamYard. So... And I'm grateful I didn't cancel my StreamYard uh, because now here I'm traveling and so I need it. All right, so here I am in the sample company. And if I go to the usage tab, 
it says your current plan is QuickBooks Online Advanced. Okay, so that's how I know that I successfully logged into the correct sample company. And so now I can go ahead and do this exercise. Okay. So what we are doing in this exercise is we are creating a custom report. So um, if you are familiar with um, the report builder in uh, the current version of QuickBooks Online, it's kind of limited. And uh, so they have some pretty new, they, kind of, they rebuilt the entire, this entire custom report. They created this whole custom report builder redesigned the whole experience. And uh, so there are some pretty cool things that you can do now. And, you know, it's on the test, so they want you to know it. All right. So let's read our scenario. Craig would like a report that shows all bills under $150, and he'd like to separate the ones that have been paid from the ones that haven't. How would you set this up? Okay. So step one, from the left navigation bar, we're going to click reports, and then we're going to click uh, this plus create new report. Okay. So this is brand new in QuickBooks Online Advanced. There is a similar exercise inside uh, the advanced level certification course. And if you're not in the advanced level certification course, oh, by the way, we're running a sale on advanced. Can I tell you about that? Oh, I don't know. Was it in the, Joel, was it in the newsletter? I can't remember. The month of June we're, is uh, advanced is on sale. So if you were wanting to get advanced, now is the time. All right. So, um, okay. So here I am. I'm going to click plus new report. Somebody says it was in the newsletter. Okay, good. So in the newsletter, you can go and you can get that coupon code for uh, half off. I think it's half off. That's it's a big deal. Okay. All right. So from the left, okay, create new report. Step two, select blank, then click create. Click blank and then create. Some versions of QuickBooks, uh, of the QuickBooks Online Advanced skipped that page. And so it was kind of hard to create the exercise at one point. Um, Kurt said earlier, I'm just going to put this on because it's funny. Kurt says, I think Margie just discovered into its new byline, it's not finished. <laughs> so yeah, that's about right. I didn't just discover it, Kurt. I've known that for, <laughs> known that for a while. But anyway, so uh, now we are going. So we selected blank and then we're selecting create. Okay, and now we're going to start by adding data columns. Okay, so right here, you can use this report creation wizard, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, of templates already built in for you. So you could just use a template and then uh, and then edit it to suit your needs. I don't know how I don't know how you would ever know what's in there or how many like all the different varieties. I don't know, it's kind of better to just create your own because then you know exactly, you don't have to search through a bunch, just create your own. And that's what we're doing. So we are starting by adding data columns, okay? So this is, these are the columns in your report. Okay, then steps four and five. In the customize report panel, select bill to open up the options to display. What was our scenario? Let's go back to our scenario. Craig would like to report would like a report that shows all bills under $150, okay? And he'd like to separate the ones that have been paid from the ones that haven't, okay? So that's what we're doing, okay? So in the customize uh, report panel, we're gonna select bill to open up the options to display. Then we're going to click show all columns if necessary to reveal more options. So let's do just that much. Okay, so here we are. So these are our different options. So what, so basically you can think about this as um, if I select this, if I select invoice, I'm gonna have certain fields that are available on an invoice that I would wanna put on my report, okay? But in this case, we're doing bills. So I'm gonna select bill, and then that's gonna give me all of the different options that I can report on, okay? 
so um, let's see. Okay, click show all columns. This is a slightly different interface than, than I had before. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see. See, look at the picture. See how it's slightly different? They've changed, they're always changing things on us. Um, Facebook user, I think I've paid to, can you check your records, please? Okay, I don't know who your, what your name is. So uh, the best thing to do uh, for help with the, your records or you know the status of your courses or status of payments and all that is to send an email to support at fastandeasyqbo.com and uh, we'll get you squared away with that. Okay, so um, anyway, so that is slightly different. All right, so what we are looking for is bill date. You know what I love? I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself, but <laughs> this is on the test, guys. Like this, the whole reason I have this exercise <laughs> is because it's on the test and they are changing it in the middle of testing season. Like, <laughs> like you, you have to know this for the test and yet they're changing it in the middle of doing it. It's just, uh, I, I have such a love hate relationship with Intuit. Okay. Bill date, amount, vendor name, and paid status. Bill date. There's bill date. Let me click show more amount. Paid status. Notice that when I, as uh, soon as I check these things, they show up on the left-hand side in this window. This is one of the, this is probably actually my favorite thing about the new custom report builder is that the changes are made instantly. Whereas with the, the previous account builder or the previous report builder, um, you had to make, you made your changes and then you had to remember to click run report and then it would implement all of those things. So, um, so I love this about the, the new format is that it just adds it right away. All right. What was the fourth thing? Vendor name. All right, let's see. And vendor name. Where is vendor name? These items will add, huh? If anyone sees vendor name and I am missing it, let me know. There's vendor, vendor name. God. They have changed. Why do they change exactly? Why are they changing it without ever telling us and no training at all? Like it's just crazy. Okay. Anyway, so now I have my columns. Now we're gonna rearrange the columns and to do that, we're gonna click layout, okay? So notice right here is where I have uh, the columns that I'm selecting and then layout is how I decide how they want to appear. So I'm just gonna rearrange them and how am I gonna rearrange them? Go to six, seven, drag the vendor name tile so it is between bill date and amount. Okay, so bill date and amount, vendor name, do, 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 right there. Wouldn't it be cool if I could drag it right here? But I can't, I have to use this little thing here. All right, the resulting report now shows a list of all the bills in the de default date range. Okay, so what's the date range? This year to date right here, okay. Uh, however, Craig only wants to see bills that are under $150. To do this, we need to apply a filter. Okay, so filters. Remember that filters are always what you use if you want to show a portion of the entire data. Okay, so, in, so this is everything. Okay, if I wanted to know just a portion of it, then if I only want to see some vendors and not all, then I'm going to use a filter. If I only want to see some, in this case, bills that are under $150, but not all of them, okay? I'm always going to, that's always what filter means, okay? So we're going to click filter, which is up here. It's a different tab, OK? 
Okay, so notice we have these little um, tabs up here. What we've been working on right now is the customize tab. Now we're going to uh, use the filter tab. Okay, and what are we going to filter on? Let's go to steps eight and nine. Okay, we're going to use the drop downs under filter to select amount. Okay, so right here, which what are we doing? Because these are the four things that we put up here. Which one of these are we using to narrow it down? Okay, so uh, amount and operation. You should remember this from the grade school math, right? <laughs> is greater than, less than, et cetera. Okay, so we want is less than 150. 150. Okay, and all I had to do was click out of it and then it automatically adjusted things for me. I didn't even, I didn't have to click any buttons or tell it to do. All I did was tab out of that value field. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. Finally, Craig wanted to separate the paid from the unpaid bills. Okay. For this, you're going to use the group panel. Notice that you don't have to have the paid status displayed as a column in order to use it as a group. Okay. So let's say, oh, I do have it displayed as a column. Was that part of my, was that part of my instructions, guys? Am I earlier? Did I say start by adding columns? I did. All right. Well, we could take it off or we could leave it. Okay. So now I'm going to go to group. So now what this is doing, now what group is doing is it's saying it's taking what's displayed and it's just displaying it in a certain, keeping certain things together. And what do we want to keep together? We want to keep together the paid versus unpaid. Okay, so here I'm going to select paid status. Okay, and so now I have the paid status. Let's see if I can take that off. I don't want to confuse you guys. No, I'm going to leave it. Um, so here I have, and I have this now uh, drop down. I can show all the paid ones versus, whoop, versus, come on, the unpaid one, which is right there. If I just click the down, down arrow. Oh, that's interesting. Why isn't it showing down arrow? There we go. Okay. So I can group them like that. Go back. I just want to point out a couple of things here on the group tab. There's that little number one. That means I have one thing that it's grouping by, okay? So we just have the paid status, okay? The same with filter. I only have one filter currently applied, but I could add another filter and I could do that right here, okay? So this is group. And let's see, what's the last thing here? Use the group to select paid status. I did that. Um, if the report does not automatically sort, click one of the column headings. I think when I was creating that exercise, they were having a little problem in their thing, but now it appears to be work, worked out because obviously they've been working on this because it's different than when I created the exercise a few weeks ago. Um, all right, and then in the custom, my custom report section, enter paid and unpaid bills under 150. So I'm just gonna copy that. I, I think I mentioned this last time we had a, a live stream, but we didn't used to be able to copy and paste from the exercise. This is something we added recently. You may or may not have even noticed it, but anyway, it's kind of cool to me that we can do that now. <laughs> so anyway, my custom report right here, this little pencil, that's how you give your report a name. And so here is my name. So now that I have this uh, saved, at this point, you could save the report for future use and or export it and send it to Craig, okay? So notice I have this, I can schedule it, I can email it, I can export it, I can just save it, and, um, and that's it. So that is it for this exercise and the custom report builder, and we survived. We survived. Um, sorry that if I was blurry, was the um, was the screen share just as blurry as like when I'm on my face? Let me know. Um, and um, we will see 
next week, hopefully I'll have an ethernet connection and I will wear makeup because <laughs> we'll be in a better position. Hopefully every day it gets a little better. So, um, oh, Joel says everything is blurry. Kurt says screen share was better. Okay. Well, hopefully this was helpful to you a little bit. It was helpful to me at least to get everything kind of going. So, um, good. Oh, Karen says the screen share was a little more clear. Okay, good. So, all right. But now we've got some issues figured out and hopefully next week, uh, it'll just keep getting better. And then eventually I'll be back in my studio and we'll be back in our regular groove for the summer. All right. So yes, excellent. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next week and, um, and hope all goes well. Get that, get recertified. Um, oh, thank you. Um, uh, get recertified. Your deadline is June 30th. Uh, if you're still working on your first uh, certifications, then uh, you have until October 31st. And if you are wanting, <laughs> if you are wanting um, the that advanced, check your email box because apparently we sent out a coupon for uh, getting advanced. Uh, I, Good, where it's on sale, advanced is on sale for the month of June. So, okay, that's it. And I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.